Hey, I'm, I'm Garth Haslam, the home medic. Today we're at a home that I actually inspected earlier and found out that it was a meth house. And the reason I knew to test is because there's a number of, uh, of items that I typically see in a meth contaminated home. I wrote the, uh, a book and a couple of articles about that, but very briefly, you're looking for a home that has um, a smell to it, usually a cat urine smell, small old foreclosed apartments, this home actually gets a check in that department, um, trashiness, and uh, door and door frame damage, which is what I call signs of anger. This particular home had all of the above. Now, as the first time that I walked into here, you open this door and you get just a overwhelming cat urine smell. In this particular case, somebody had actually tried to cover over the cat urine smell by throwing a cat in there, expecting it to die and thinking that an inspector like myself would, uh, would give up and think that the reason for the smell was the dead cat. Well, I let the cat out and I saw all, all kinds of other signs that this might be a meth contaminated home. We tested, sure enough lots of meth in here. Let me take you inside and we'll show you what I was looking for and how you can find out if the home that you're getting into may be contaminated. Walking inside the house, it's not very hard to start seeing signs that this place might be meth contaminated. You walk in and guess what? We do have that signs of anger. Door damage here. This door has been completely abused obliterated. You can see the guts of what, uh, what a closet door will look like. Somebody's been inside here and just kicked the crap out of that door. That, once that flag goes up and I smell the cat urine and I see just the messiness in here, we know that we need to be doing a mess test. But let me show you some of the messiness going on. I wish I could show you the smell, but we can't. You see this carpet going on. Uh, you got a lot of stains. You know, the dirtiness is one thing. That'll happen in a lot of homes. But you have all these stains in various areas. This is very common in a meth contaminated house. And again, you know, it, all by itself it doesn't really mean anything at all. But if you got multiple of these flags that you can check off, it's time to do a meth test. Okay, I've got to show you some items upstairs in this meth contaminated house. This is important stuff because it, I see it so commonly. Let me take you first. Uh, now this is the master bedroom. You see how nasty this carpet is. I mean, admittedly, a lot of homes after you move out, the, the carpets are going to be stained. In these meth contaminated homes, usually it's just a little bit more stained than that. Now I gotta show you too, this door. This is one example. Somebody punched this right here. Now I understand from what I've learned that it was actually a woman that lived in this house. Uh, not uncommon for a woman to be the meth user. Um, in a lot of cases, if you get the man, he'll punch all the way through a door like this. Woman, that's still a pretty good punch. I know that something like that would, uh, would hurt my hand to try and duplicate that. The reason I know, been there, done that. <laughs> Let me show you some other things. We've got uh, here in the sheetrock, somebody uh, caused this hole. And again, that's fist size, but it's low. So it was probably the knee. Somebody just being angry. That happens again in a meth contaminated home. Hey, Dennis, happens I'm quite a bit. All right, let me move now into the bathroom door and you see the same sort of thing. Somebody was mad and somebody punched their, um, their way into the door just to show how mad they were. Now, let me show you, uh, you know, this kind of stuff just keeps going on and on. I got to show you this particular door here. This one, somebody kicked, and to the point that this door just is, uh, is a shambles at this point. You, you open it or you close it here and you see again that there's been some more door damage here. Now, obviously there's a lot of door damage in this house, and we already know that it's a meth contaminated home. You'll see this kind of door damage pretty much in any meth home that I walk into, uh, wherever it happens to be. Very common for the door and door frame damage to, uh, to occur. So how do you know if you've got a meth contaminated house? Well, you can look for the four flags that I mentioned earlier, and those are on my website as well. But if you really want to know that you've got a meth contaminated house, 
there's only one way to find out, and that's to actually do the physical testing. I'm Garth Haslam, the home medic. Thanks for watching.